Welcome to Decoded Medicine, where you learn the concepts of medicine. Today, I'll discuss the concept of selective permeability of cell membranes. This, in simple terms, means that the cell membranes are selectively permeable to molecules, that is, some molecules can easily cross the cell membrane, whereas some other molecules are blocked from being able to cross the cell membrane. The reason for this selectivity can be understood by looking at the structure of the cell membrane. This image here shows the structure of the cell membrane. Here is the cell membrane and outside of the cell you have the extracellular fluid and inside the cell you have the intracellular fluid. The cell membrane is mainly made up of the phospholipid bilayer that is represented here. This matchstick like structures over here are the phospholipid bilayer of the cell membrane and in between that you have the protein molecules that are dispersed somewhere between these phospholipid bilayers and as I told you the major bulk of the cell membrane is made up of the phospholipid bilayer. By the term itself you understand that it is a double layer, bilayer of phospholipids. So double layer of phospholipid. Meaning if you look into this, this red structures over here represent the head end of the phospholipid layer. You see two such ends in a phospholipid layer. So there are two phosphate molecules, one facing the outside of the cell, one facing the inside of the cell. And they are both attached to lipid molecules represented by these yellow structures over here. So this is one phospholipid with one phosphate and lipid molecule. And this is another phospholipid with another phosphate and lipid molecule. They together make up the phospholipid bilayer of the cell membrane. Now, if you look more closely at these structures, you can notice here this phospholipid bilayer has a hydrophilic head made of the phosphate group and the hydrophobic tail made of the lipid molecule. The hydrophilic head, as the name itself implies, is hydro, meaning water, philic, loving. So the phosphate groups face the water end of the cell membrane towards the intracellular fluid and the extracellular fluid. And the Hydrophobic tail, as the name implies it is, hydro, water, phobic, that is fear of or less affinity to water. So they face away from water, they face each other, forming the phospholipid by layer. So the major bulk of the cell membrane is made up of the phospholipid bilayer and of these the lipid layer make up the most part like you can even look at the image here you can see clearly that lipids make up the major part of the cell membrane and for this reason the lipid soluble or hydrophobic molecules such as oxygen, 
carbon dioxide, nitrogen, some steroid hormones, etc. Those are lipid soluble or hydrophobic can easily cross the cell membrane. So the cell membranes are selectively permeable in the sense they allow lipid soluble or hydrophobic substances to easily cross them. So the hydrophobic or lipid soluble substances can easily cross the cell membrane by simple diffusion. Whereas all hydrophilic molecules such as water, glucose, some ions or polar molecules, they cannot easily cross by simple diffusion. They need some transport molecules which are proteins they need some transport molecules in order to cross the cell membrane and this transport occurs by various mechanisms such as facilitator diffusion active transport etc depending on the molecule to be transported and the protein that helps transport the molecule. So the hydrophilic or polar molecules such as water, glucose and certain ions cannot easily cross the cell membrane. They need some transport proteins in order to cross the cell membrane. In this way the cell membranes are selectively permeable, allowing certain substances to easily cross through them, whereas certain other substances cannot easily cross. They can only cross with the help of certain transport molecules. And there is some exception to this rule. Some smaller molecules, such as small water molecules and certain other smaller substances might be able to cross the cell membrane though they are hydrophilic because of the smaller size. Thanks for watching the video. If you found this video helpful, do share it with your friends, subscribe to support the channel and please like and leave your comment in the feedback section. Thank you.